Today, I just wanted to give you guys a quick mixing tip, which is how and why to use reference tracks in Ableton. Let's go ahead and get into it. So basically a reference track is gonna be a track you're gonna to use to check your mix with a professional mix of the song you're trying to match the sound of, or alternatively, it could be like an artist's mix. If you're mixing for someone, it could be their reference mix to kind of show you what they're looking for. So basically to do this in Ableton, you would think you just make an audio track and you drop your audio in there and you're good to go. That audio is gonna go through your master chain. So if you have any mastering on it at all, it's kind of gonna defeat the purpose of this. So how to get around this is you're gonna come over to where it says master, you're gonna click that and select external out. This is going to allow us to route the audio directly to our outputs, which for me is gonna be one and two. For 90% of you guys, one and two is going to be the outputs, unless for some reason you are using three and four, maybe five and six, depending on your audio interface. However, for those people, you would definitely know what your outputs are. So for most people, it's gonna be one and two. So I already have some reference tracks set. Um, these are always in my default project and I have three of them and I have a group. The group is going to that external output one and two. Now what I do is I keep this group muted and then when I need to listen to my reference track, I solo it. What this is gonna allow me to do is quickly check my mix with a professional mix. So for example, I'm working on this beat here. It's like a Playboy Cardi type beat. Uh, let me go ahead and play it and I can show you that I can flip to an actual Playboy Cardi song. So let's go ahead and try that out. So when doing that, I noticed that my clap is a little bit too loud and I think I might pull back my 808 as well, just a little bit so that we can match the song a little bit better. Other than that, I think loudness is good. I think clarity is good. I think the beat's really coming together. So it might be just little minor tweaks like that, but just being able to check if my beat is loud enough or if the clarity is there or if my clap is too loud or just quick little things like that with a reference track without having to worry about it going through my master this is something that can really open up your mixing ability. So yeah, that's how you use reference tracks in Ableton. They're really powerful. And I think it's something that everyone should be doing, checking your mixes to make sure they line up with professional music, or like I said, line up with an artist's standards with their reference mix. If you guys learned something in this video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future content, also leave those in the comments down below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day.